Hi guys, so I'm back and I have my horror block. It finally came in the mail. Um, this time it's not wrapped in plastic and it's a little bit different than the one that the last few I was getting. So actually it's like the first bunch that I was getting. Okay, I just got the tape and I'm going to open it away from my back because I don't want to see what's in there yet. I'm just going to place it down on the, uh, the chair next to myself. First thing I want to grab is a hat. Um, the Silence of the Lambs. Well, this isn't really what I thought. I was expecting like a little figurine of like Hannibal or something, but this is still pretty neat. I always smell things. It smells new. It's thick. And it is winter, so like oh yeah, it fits pretty cool. It fits good. Um Yeah, I'll wear it around because you know I do like covering up my hair. I don't usually have it down. So yeah, that was pretty it was nice, it was different. I kinda wish the picture was different, maybe even if it was just like of the mask and not like the logo, even though I do like that logo, but you know. I'm just being picky. I have a sore throat, so it seems like we have a box here. Okay, so we have a box. Um, I can't even remember what the theme was this month. Looks like we have a mug, no? Yeah. A mason jar. Like in the world, table like right here and like right here. Like, is that a part of it? Is, it, is that in yours? It's really cold. Wash before use. Well, duh. I wish I had a lid. Um, the sad thing is, I actually bought um, two very similar Mason mugs at the dollar store, so I'm not sure what this item is supposed to go with, like what the theme is. Um, it's still different, it's still a different item, like we got a hat, we got, a, we got something to drink with, so it's not something that's just going to be laying around here, so it's not going to be used, this is, these are two things that I will be using, so well, that's a win. Let's put that right there. Next we have... Empty, empty Island Spoon Club. Oh, lots of jaws. So that's pretty cool. I could put that on my jacket. I don't swim though, so I can't swim actually. That's pretty sad, isn't it? I'm surrounded by water and I can't swim. Let's see what we have next. I know I seem like I'm pretty boring and like so tired and sick. Next we have an air freshener. Friday the 13th. <laughs> Does it smell like death? What do death smell like? Oh. It says pine scented. Like the picture is cool. Can you see it? I do like this. I'll, I'll put that in my car. I don't care about the smell. I even just like to have that in the car. It's pretty cool. You can smell it through here. It doesn't have... Like, is it pine like trees? Or is it pine like... Cleaning product pine? It smells like cleaning product. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, again, that's a different item. So we have a hat. We have a mug. We have a pin. We have an air freshener, that's four things. And I still don't see anything from My Bloody Valentine or um, Resident Evil. I'm getting kind of worried. I'm hoping that the shirt, I'm like, got to do it, is something to do with Resident Evil. But it doesn't look like it, so maybe I should stop waving a knife on it. 
shirt. This is a skull. Okay. Yeah, it looks like something from the mummy. Like, is this the new mummy that they're coming out with? Probably. The shirt is nice. 20th anniversary of Resident Evil. Stars badge. Diecast replica. That's pretty cool. It's like a pin you can like wear, like a badge, so I can go around and be like, yo, what? It's a good thing I was holding it the right way, because it would have fell out. The bag wasn't so, it's pretty heavy. It's a magnet? I thought it was like a magnet for your fridge. <laughs> oh, neat. Look at this. Can you see it? That is pretty cool. Mine's like froze. It's like ice cold. I'm trying to see something. Oh, shit. <laughs> see how this works. Don't worry, I have like a sports bra on underneath, so if like my titty falls out. This will be cool. Wait. Why isn't it working? Is it like... Oh. Zoom in on this movie and you will see it. It's actually pretty cool. How cool is that? It's like, yeah, you know. Just my bloody valentine. Is this supposed to be for my bloody valentine? I wanted like a, like a heart. I was expecting like a heart or something. Obviously not real, but I'm confused. Maybe, maybe the item didn't be shipped or something. And well, next we have, oh, we have Room War Magazine Phantasm. Phantasm? Phantasm. <laughs> Oh, cool. And next we have a Valentine. A B9. And we have our gruesome killer who is played by Jensen Ackles in the newer version, the remake, who I love so much. But, um, yeah, so we have a Valentine. Um,. I do like that, I do like the picture, but I kind of wish it was like a bigger print, something that I could frame that was bigger. I'll still frame it, a little disappointed. I was expecting something different. I was actually looking forward to that one the most, but, uh, but that's okay, that's cool. I mean, you know, you can't like everything. I didn't, I mean, I like my hat. I like everything. I'm not too picky. I just like to complain. Uh, and it looks like they changed it up a bit, and instead of, oh crap, and my card, instead of little notes, we have a booklet. It's a Nerve Block magazine, Freddy Krueger's most creative kills, exclusive Q&A with the creators of the event, oh, and what's inside January's horror block, sneak peek at February's, okie okay, dokie. Okay. So, we have a couple people there on unboxing, a little kid, he's so cute. And we have Ray Krueger's Most Creative Kills, which I'll be reading after. So, as you guys know, this is actually my last uh, box out of my subscription deal that I did. I had the six months it was given to me for a uh, Christmas gift. So, um, I did go online and I did check and see what February's box included. And the only thing that really piqued my interest was the Amptville Horror. Um, I went, on, I went through the rest of the site and I went to the sci-fi and we had Buffy the Vampire Slayer, she's Alien, oh Supernatural, I think there was another one and that one kind of piqued my interest a little bit more so for the next video you will see a sci-fi block unboxing instead of horror. 
I'm not going to get the horror block, but I am going to get the sly fly, and we'll just take it from there. Anyway, um, what do you guys think of the block? And what do you think of this video? If it's a little low, I'm sorry. If the background noise is too loud, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just trying to wrap my head around things, and I'm sick, so. Yeah, so let me, let me know if you like the video. Let me know if you like your horror block. If you have a horror block, if you don't, you should look into it. Maybe you don't need to have horror, you could have uh, sci-fi, you could have a comic related, um, you could have arcade, either or. Um, yeah, so anyway, that is it, and I will see you guys at my next video.